didn't know your father wasn't around like that. He did like 14 years in jail for like attempted murder. No, 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 no. That's the guy. That's my friend. Uh, my dad, he did do stints in and out of jail. Right. I mean, he sold drugs. He did drugs. He, you know, I was in a car. With, I remember I was uh, 15 and we went on a run with this chick that he was, uh, you know, pimping at the time mm. so it's crazy ne- damn I never talked about that I should write a song about that <laughs> <laughs> that's flex that's crazy but it was kind of because f- I was like 15 and he takes this this woman you know to, to, to go do her thing and then she gets back in the car and gives him money and I remember kind of being like wow that's so cool mm. but I was like no it's not like are yeah, you kidding yeah. me you just that's so f- up what you just did but that's another thing like at the end of the day, everybody makes mistakes, right. and ev- everybody, it is what it is. So how are the relationships now? Like, because putting all that out there, making this record that's then acclaimed, yeah. and like, and obviously you do have money now, and now you just got married, you're building your family, so how, did, yeah. how do you balance those two things out and not let any negativity of the past define you now? I say everybody who's uh, in my life day to day deserves to be in my life day to day, you know what I mean? Um, every now and again, I talk to my family members, and it is what it is, but... Uh, they know. They know my heart. They know the situation. They know, and nobody knows more like family. Like, I, like if we were sitting here talking about family, we need like eight podcasts to get through it all. You know no, what I mean? Course, to to yeah. talk about it. So it's like, um, there's ups and downs. There's rough patches, but you know, they, we all love each other. You know, but right now I am focused on on my family. You but know, like we just had Thanksgiving, Christmas yeah. is coming. Like, oh, well, I sp- I've, sp- I've been spending it with. With my, you know, my my wife's side of the family, and it's been great. The I'm in-law, finally, in-law game is strong. Yo, the in-law game is strong, <laughs> dog. She's got like good, strong Mexican, and, Mexican and she, white. Yeah, right? Mexican and white. Damn. Okay, right. you know, I'm that's trying. crazy. They speak in Spanish. You got that down? Yeah, well, slight. Like she doesn't speak Spanish, which oh, okay. is so funny because I'm like, how do you not speak Spanish? But all her people speak. But her brother don't speak Spanish either. Yeah. They're slight whitewash. I want to know is like. <laughs> <laughs> on, fi- on feel good, you said like you know you oh, asked your wow. ex to marry you. Yeah. Is this what made it different this time around? Well, I was nineteen and stupid. Oh, and I had like never, uh, I I never truly had a love like that before because I grew up in such a <laughs> household. So I never understand just 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 love from a, in a completely pure place. You know, not because they had to, because they're your mom or dad or this yeah. or whatever the case may be. So, uh, but yeah, that's just a kid i'm super glad that didn't happen (laughs) (laughs) and and that's no shade on the chick too she was awesome but i was like 19 and but you kind of knew right away with this girl right oh yeah no this was totally different because you know i've been with my fair share of women and um i was never the dude like that would just sleep with random hoes and all that type of stuff just because i always needed some you know some type of connection with someone you know what i mean um to be with them sexually and i didn't necessarily need to be in a relationship with them but i needed to like know them not only know that they're clean and cool and i'm not i'm not because i ain't trying to get burnt you know but at the same time it's like <laughs> i'm not i don't want to use somebody i'm right. just going to use you, you for a real body. connection yeah, yeah you know even if we're just homies and hanging out or whatever so i had been you know i had had my fair share of women and, and uh been in some some serious relationships and that was all to ready me for the woman that i'm with now so when we were together i knew you know it was like you know she she wasn't materialistic she didn't know shit about hip-hop had no idea who the hell i was when we mm. met uh you know what i mean it was really incredible went through a world tour two other tours a press run and the release of an album and i was like this is it and i asked her to marry me so, so how, how was marriage strength in the relationship now it's the same I yeah. think anybody it, like it's 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 obviously it's it's a, it's a commitment and it's incredible, but it's like yo, it's the se- it's like <laughs> you put whatever it means to you is what it is. Because some people will be like, oh, why why did you get married so young, or why did you this, or why did you that? And it's like, no, it's not that I got married young. I just got married when I was ready, not when society told me I was ready right. or this or that or wait till you're thirty or get your master's first. Then you got to do this before you can have kids. Man, f- all that. Shit. I'm gonna do what makes me happy.